Hello lovelies, welcome to my channel. My name is Laura and today I'm going to be trying Marilyn Monroe's 1959 Erno Laszlo skincare routine for a week. Before I jump in and actually try the products, I'm going to explain the history behind Erno Laszlo and explain to you her skincare routine. And this skincare routine was custom made for Marilyn Monroe by Erno Laszlo. And Marilyn Monroe went to great lengths to ensure her skin was perfect. She enlisted Erno Lasso, who catered to old Hollywood royalty with his groundbreaking skincare techniques. There is a written copy of Marilyn Monroe's prescription that consists of a complicated series of solutions and potions that were created specifically for her. Most of the products from her skincare routine are still available today, including the moisturizing Felatil Bar of Soap, which was supposed to be rinsed with 30 splashes of water instructed by Erno Laszlo. And here is a brief history of Erno Laszlo. Celebrating bold personalities and bright skin since 1927, the legacy of Erno Laszlo may be rooted in the groundbreaking skincare discoveries of Dr. Laszlo. But behind his life-changing products, it has always been about the patient. From Dr. Laszlo's first breakthrough, finding a cure for a princess acne, to his work with the most famous faces in Hollywood, including Jackie Kennedy, Marilyn Monroe, Greta Garbo, and Audrey Hepburn, to name a few, Erno Laszlo was a master of medicine who pioneered many innovative products and introduced specific formulations to treat various skin conditions. A man of first, the doctor established the concept of a ritual, a skincare routine with prescriptions for his clients, and introduced cleansing oils and bars as the double cleanse we know today. He opened the first institute in Budapest in 1927, complete with a lab for creating personalized formulations and developing bespoke treatments, like the custom Formula 3-1 made to heal the acute acne of Princess Stephanie of Hungary. Laszlo moved to New York and opened the first institute there in 1939 at 677 Fifth Avenue. Early clients included Katherine Hepburn and Greta Garbo. The doctor became a trusted skincare expert for many of the world's most famous faces. So now I'm going to go into Marilyn Monroe's skincare routine and show you the custom prescription. And this is a quote by Marilyn Monroe about Erno Laszlo and she says, Erno Laszlo not only heals my skin, but he soothes my soul. Dr. Laszlo specifically created Formula 3-8 for Marilyn Monroe to heal a scar on her stomach and he kept her well stocked with active felatil cream, an all-purpose moisturizer for her signature on-screen glow. Marilyn Monroe's morning routine consisted of applying active phthalatyl oil with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point on the entire face, lips, and neck. Wash only face and neck immediately in warm water with active phthalatyl soap in the following manner. Fill basin with warm water, wet face and neck, and rub on soap while making a lather. Make a separate lather in hands and rub well into skin. Rinse thoroughly in the same soapy water and blot dry with a towel. Smooth active phthalatyl cream on the entire face and neck. Wash cream off with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point with light controlling lotion except around the eyes where you blot cream off with tissues. Do not shake merely tip bottle, blot dry. Apply well shaken normalizer shake it with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point on the entire face, except around the eyes. Blot off with tissues immediately. Dot phthalatil in tiny dots under eyes only. Spreading it gently over the surface, blot off with tissues. Dab duo face face powder apply on entire face and neck. After one minute, brush off powder with a large piece of cotton. And the evening routine, if dressing, follow instructions for morning. And it says, on formal occasions or when being photographed, after blotting off, normalize or shake it, apply phthalatone on top of the entire face, also under eyes and on neck. Blot off with tissues. Apply dual phase face powder according to instructions for the morning. And the evening routine before retiring, apply active phthalatone oil on entire face, lips and neck, and wash only face and neck according to instructions for morning. After drying, smooth active phthalatyl cream on entire face, lips, and neck. Wash cream off the face with a large piece of cotton saturated to the dripping point with now well shaken controlling lotion, except around the eyes and lips, blot dry. Dot and smooth gray skin paste on entire face, except around eyes, and leave on overnight. Under eyes, on lips, and neck, blot cream off with tissues after 10 minutes. 
And he also says, do not eat, not one piece of any kind of nuts, chocolate, olives, clams, and oysters. Do not take any vitamins. So I thought that was weird about the vitamins and the chocolate. I don't know if I could do that because I like chocolate a lot. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each product that she used in her beauty routine so you can have an idea of the products before I actually use them for a week. So the first one is the limited edition Shake It Tinted Treatment. A shake to mix tinted toner treatment available in exclusive universal shade. And this one is neutral that works across all skin tones. It helps to even skin tone, control excess oil, visibly reduce pores for sheer a matte finish. And the next product that she used was the light controlling toner. And this clarifying facial toner sweeps away surface oils while lightly exfoliating and binding moisture to the skin for a fresh face complexion. A well-established estrogen, cosmetic grade alcohol and envelops shiny oils and whisks them away. And the next product is the Felatil Cleansing Bar. This nourishing treatment bar gently cleanses without drying. Ingredients packed with essential fatty acids help to maintain moisture, bringing skin back into beautiful balance. And the Felatil Pre-Cleansing Oil. And this was one of Erno Lazel's earliest innovations. The Felatil Complex remains an advanced way to hydrate skin, balance pH by replenishing the fatty acids essential to its health. This nourishing oil cleanses and conditions without stripping away any moisture. And the Felatil Cream, and this is one of Dr. Laszlo's earliest innovations, the Felatil Complex remains an advanced way to hydrate and balance the pH of your skin. It does this by replenishing the fatty acids essential to its health. This pH balance moisturizer is enriched with moisturizing emollients, helping to nourish and replenish the skin. And the Formula 3 Night Repair Cream is an active compound of plant stem cells, essential vitamins, super powered hydrators, which energize the skin inside and out. Our multivitamin blend puts nutrients to work with vitamin B3, B5, which work both to improve skin hydration, and moisture retention, and reinforce the epidermal barrier. So now that I've described all the skincare products that I'm going to be using in her routine for a week, let's jump right in to my seven days of using Marilyn Monroe's skincare products. Hello lovelies, so I'm gonna start with Marilyn Monroe's morning routine. And it says to start with this oil cleanser. And apparently it wants you to saturate the cotton swab with it, which is weird. So I'm gonna do that. And then it says to rub it all over your face and then rinse it off. I feel like I'd rather just do this with my hands. If by the end of the week I get sick of this, I may alter her routine, but for the first two days I will do it. So it says to rub this all over your face and then it says to rinse it off with the cleansing bar. So I'm gonna do that with soap and water and I'll lather it up. And then it says to rinse this. And then it says to smooth the active feta fill cream all over face and neck. So I'm gonna take a small amount and do that. I have a tendency to overuse skincare products. So I'm trying to be mindful of that because this stuff is so expensive and with like my palms and stuff, I would like overuse it. So I'm going to be mindful. It says to put on like eyes, face, neck. So I'm going to do that. And then it says to wash the cream off with a cotton pad completely dripping with the controlling lotion, which seems insane, but okay. So I'm going to do that. And we'll hot it off. It kind of stings. Ah, oh my God. This really stings. Ooh. I don't know why it's stinging so bad. Whew. I also have a horrible pimple there. So maybe this routine will help dry it out. Oh my God. It's just to avoid eyes and lip. So now that that's done, now it says to take a third cotton pad and use a normalizer to shake it all over your face, avoiding the eye, 
and lip area. And this is tinted, as you can see. So let's see how it goes on. Kind of goes on tinted. Oh, it stings again, it like tingles. So I'm putting this all over my face. I think Marilyn had really oil, oily skin. This is supposed to mattify. Whew. It's definitely tingly. It doesn't feel like it's giving me like a lot of coverage once it dries. Apparently you can build on that. So it's definitely saturated. And then it says take a tissue and blot off. So I'm gonna do that. That seems like a waste. And then it says to take the Fetitone cream again and blot it around the eyes. So I'm gonna do that. And then it says to take a tissue to remove the cream. And then finish with a face powder. So I'll probably use the Airspun face powder because they don't have the Erna Lazlo one anymore, so you can't buy it. So I'm going to finish off with a bit of this powder all over my face. And then obviously add concealer and stuff, but honestly my skin feels really dry. So I might have to like add some more moisturizer or something because it feels dry and tight. So I don't know about this so far, but I'll touch base again later this evening for the nighttime aversion. Hello lovelies, so I wore her skincare all day just with a little bit of powder and concealer and my skin is like super matte. It almost like gives you a soft focus. Like if you were on camera all day, it would like mask all the shininess. So I'm trying to figure out how this works with the whole Vaseline thing because Marilyn Monroe used Vaseline and then put on her foundation. So I'm thinking I could even try her foundation again for a week using the Shake It Normalizer and the toner because it really works well. Like I'm pretty impressed so far with that. However, my skin does feel a little dry. I normally like to put on a lot of like oils and stuff on my skin. So I might have to cheat and after the routine to add like some Nivea or some extra oils or something. So I think I might do that. I'm gonna go through her process again. And it's similar to the morning one. So you take the pre-cleansing oil, the Thelatil, and it says to put it on the cotton swab. For me personally, I feel like it seems like a weird idea and I'd rather just put it on my face and rub it, but I'm gonna follow the instructions. It seems like you kind of waste a lot of product doing that. And it says to really soak it. So I'm gonna go ahead and try it um, on the cotton pad and use it to get rid of everything. I mean, it definitely works. I guess it's kind of similar to a cold cream technique with like the tissue, except you're kind of doing it all together with the cotton pad. Cause I mean, yeah, I'm seeing all the makeup come off so I guess for that, it does work. And after that, you're gonna do the double cleanse and take the Felatil soap. See, I've already been using a lot of it because I've been using it in the shower for like a few weeks just to test it out. So I'm just gonna rub up a nice lather and make it really nice. And I'll rub my whole face, a little bit of my neck area really lather it like that and it doesn't sting my eyes or anything it kind of smells vintage in a weird way if that makes sense i kind of feel like i'm going back in time okay now it's kind of stinging i'm gonna rinse it out okay so now my face is all dry feels pretty good and clean and now it wants you to put on the Felatil cream. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit. Try not to do too much. And rub that all over my face and neck. And now it says to take the light controlling lotion and dab a cotton swab and put it around my face, but not get the eyes and lips. 
It's weird because if I were to use toner, I'd use it after I cleanse with the soap and then put on the moisturizer. But this is telling you to put on the moisturizer, then use this and remove it. So it seems very weird. I don't know. And this toner is like extreme. It like tingles. I wonder if there's alcohol in it. It tingles a lot. Like I feel like really tingling. I'm trying to put on that pimple. Oh, it like tingles the face a lot. Like I feel like I'm putting like antiseptic on my skin. Whew. It's a strong smell. It's weird. It has that old Hollywood smell. I know you probably think I'm crazy, but there is a smell and it's called old Hollywood. That's the thing I'm telling you. I feel like I'm in a time machine. I'm like back in Marilyn Monroe's step, uh, dressing room, doing her technique. And then it mentions putting a gray paste over your face at night. And I know that Ernal Laszlo made the Formula 39 cream for her. So I'm gonna put this on. Um, mainly too because it might be expiring soon and it says 12 months once you've opened it. I've had this longer than 12 months. I'm gonna put a little bit on. Erno Laszlo gave me this cream. Um, I couldn't afford to buy it. It's expensive. I think it's like close to $400. I know Jackie Kennedy used it too. And since it's like probably expired or almost expired, I'm gonna use it. So I don't use it now. I probably never will, and I'll just waste a $400 thing of cream. You see, it kind of smells off. Maybe not. So I'm gonna put this on, and then it says to use a tissue to blot your lips and your eyes, which seems really dumb to me because there's nothing there. So that is her nighttime routine. So I wish I had more oils and stuff, but I'm gonna check back with you in the morning and touch base and let you know how it goes. Good morning, lovely. So it's 5.30 a.m. I'm just getting ready for work. And I must say that my skin feels very smooth this morning. And that pimple popped TMI, but it's... So let's see how fast it recovers. So I'm just putting on the Felatil pre-cleansing oil on the cotton pad. And I'm gonna rub it all over my face. But yeah, I noticed I was like feeling my face I woke up and I was like, wow, it feels really good. So maybe there's something to this. I still don't really like doing this cotton pad thing. I think it's weird, but I'm gonna keep doing it because it says what it says. I actually noticed a lot of dirt being picked up. So maybe there's like leftover dirt on my skin or something. These cotton pads suck. I got them at Walmart and they just don't work. They're like the cheaper one. So not to self upgrade and spend like 50 cents more and get better ones because they like don't even hold together. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Velatil bar of soap and clean. That's this. Okay, now that I'm all dry and I feel clean, it says put the Felatil cream all over your face, including eyes and lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Trying not to use too much. Make sure I get everywhere, including my eyes. So the next part is weird. Erna Laszlo wants Marilyn to take off it now with the light controlling um, lotion. So I'm putting this on the cotton pad and dabbing it all over my face, avoiding the eye and lip area. And this one really tingles. I'm putting it on my pimple to see if it really dries it out. So I can see how it like works in terms of like helping it like recover faster. Okay, now I'm gonna use the normalizer shake it. And this one is tinted. So I'm gonna dab it a generous amount on my face and see how it wears all day under powder and concealer. So I have a decent amount on there. What do 
pretty close to the camera so you can see. I feel like it kind of mattifies everything. I actually really like it. My skin looked really good yesterday. So it kind of mattifies and you could add more for more coverage. So I'm gonna add a tiny bit more to see how it lasts. I actually wouldn't mind doing this with her foundation and redoing that video and seeing how that would work and then not use the Vaseline. And then Erna Lasso says to use face powder. I do have her face powder that she used, not the Erna Lasso one, but I'm saving that for another video. So I'm gonna use one that I like, and that is the Cody Air Spun. So I'm gonna dab this over top today, and then I'll check in with you later today and see how my skin looks. All right, have a good day. Hello, lovely. So I have like a full face of makeup on and I feel like today went really well. Like my skin looks pretty good and it's been very matte and it almost has like a soft focus to it. It's hard to explain, but now I can kind of see why Marilyn would like this combination because it works really well. Um, like if you were on camera or something. So I just, I can see how this was designed specifically for her. And I'm pretty impressed. I really like the Shake It treatment. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Fetafil pre-cleansing oil and use that to wash my face and I get rid of the makeup. Pinky, it's my cat. And then I'm going to, um, use the Fetafil soap afterwards. Pinky, say hi. It's okay. Okay, Pinky. He's a fluffy little boy. It's okay. works when I have a lot of makeup on. I might have to do a second swap. So I'm just gonna start with my forehead and face. And I'm gonna do the eyes separate. I don't know why Pinky's so vocal today. Okay, now I'm gonna do a second swap and do my eyes. What's going on? I can't hold stop me out. Okay. Works pretty well at removing your eye makeup. And now I'm gonna use the soap and wash my face. So now I'm gonna hop in the shower and rinse off and then I'll check back and finish off the nighttime routine. Okay, so now the next step is to apply the Fetatil cream all over your face. So I'm gonna do that, including my eyes and lips. This cream definitely feels luxurious, way more than like Pons or Olay, I will say that because I have been using those, it just feels like more rich. It's hard to explain. Like it is more expensive. And then the next step is using the light controlling lotion and removing the cream, which is crazy, in my opinion. It's like counterintuitive, but I must follow the step. My skin definitely felt a little dry coming out of the shower. Dabbing it on that pimple, hoping it helps. The smell of this toner, I don't know, it just, it's like a time capsule in a weird way. It's hard to explain the scent. It smells like a museum. No. Oh, I can't explain it. You just have to try it. It doesn't have that like vintage 50s smell. It reminds me of like the 30s. Like if I were to smell cosmetics in the 1930s, it would smell like this toner. It reminds me of Shalimar. Like it takes me back in a weird way. Like transports me. So it looks like it picked up a decent amount of dirt. 
And now he mentions using a gray paste, but since my skin has been feeling dry, I'm gonna use the Formula 39 Serum. Erna Leslie has just for an extra boost because I can't just go to bed like this, I need more. And this one feels very luxurious. And then I'm gonna put more of the Feta Tail on. I'm really slab with that. And now I'm gonna put on the Formula 39 to like seal it all in. And this cream was invented for Marilyn Monroe. So I'm not sure why it's not written in that prescription. It smells, it feels very thick. All right, so I'll see you guys in the morning, bye. Hello lovelies, so today is my day off and I just took a shower and my skin does feel a little dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the pre-cleansing oil with the cotton pad and rub that all over my face. And today is my day off, so I'm a little bit late. It's Black Friday. I always try to take it easy on my days off. And since I'm not wearing any makeup or anything, there's not much picking up on those cotton pads. And now I'm going to use the Bella Till soap and do a quick um, cleanse and rinse. I hate that I had a pimple here and I still have like a little scar and it's driving me nuts. So I want it to go away. I'm trying to think of things I can do to help fade that scar because it's kind of bugging me now. And just wash my face with the soap. And then do a nice rinse. And now I'm supposed to put on the Felotel cream. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. This step really bugs me because next Erna Lazlo wants to remove the cream with the toner. And this really bugs me because my skin's dry and I need the moisture. So I'm putting in my eyes, my lips and neck. I guess Marilyn just had a really oily skin or something. Now I'm taking the light controlling lotion and putting it on the cotton pad. And I just put that all over the face, avoiding the eyes and lips. It does feel refreshing on my skin, I'll admit that. And that's that step. Okay, so now the next step is the normalizer shake it, which I have been really liking. And you just put this on a cotton pad and then rub it on your face. And depending on like if you want more tint, you can add more. So I'm gonna add a little bit and then go back in after and add some more. And just put it on my forehead. I kind of, it feels really good on my skin and I find that it works well with like face powder. I'm adding more now and it like mattifies your skin. I think I added too much this time. Oops. But it works really well at like mattifying your skin and like gives your face this beautiful soft focus all day long hard to explain, but it just works really well. It doesn't really give coverage per se. It just kind of makes your skin look really smooth and soft. I guess slight coverage, I guess you could say. It's like slightly tinted. It's such a weird product, but I do really like this one and I think I would definitely buy it again. Unless they don't sell it anymore, I've been checking their website. Cause I know it was kind of limited edition. I mean, I hope they do because I really like it and want to continue to use it. And after that, for daytime, he says use the face powder, but Erna Lazlo doesn't have that powder anymore. So I'm going to use the Airspun Cody, which is a vintage one. And I think these two work really well together, like hand in hand. It just kind of keeps my skin like super soft all day long and like really matte. And then I just add a little bit of a concealer and that's like really all I need. So I don't even have to really wear a foundation. I kind of like it. I just like the way it makes my skin feel. And then by the end of the day too, I'll check back with you and my skin isn't greasy and like oily even under my bangs. Still looks like really nice and matte. And see how it kind of like 
I feel like if you were under lights and a camera, it just looks so soft. Like I can even see the difference now from like before I put it on. So anyways, I'm gonna check back with you guys later this evening. Hello lovelies, so it's Friday evening and my skin looks pretty good. It kind of feels a little dry, but I feel like it has this like really soft glow to it. It's hard to explain, but it's like, I don't know. I just feel like if you're on camera, it looks really good. And I have no foundation on right now. All I have is like her full skincare system including the Shake It Normalizer tinted and just a little bit of concealer under my eyes, mascara, and then face powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and go through the whole process again right now and remove all my makeup. But yeah, I'm pretty impressed. I really like the normalizer. I don't really like the method he says to do by like putting the toner after the face cream. I feel like that's weird and it like gets rid of the face cream. So I don't really get that part, but for the most part, I think it's pretty good. And the oil thing is a little weird to me too, using the Feta Fill. Cause to me, I would rub it and then use water. But I guess this is kind of like a vintage technique cause with cold cream, you do this, except maybe with, I guess I could technically try it with the tissue. And then a bunch of times Irma Lazel says to remove the moisturizer with a tissue, but I feel like there's never enough on there to do that, so it's kind of weird. So I'm gonna go ahead and rub my face with it. I'm not wearing too much makeup today, so I think it should be pretty straightforward. And do the eyes. So as you can see, it's definitely coming off. I wonder if some of that color coming off is a normalizer because I'm not wearing foundation. It's interesting. And the next step is using the Feta Till soap to do the final cleanse. I'm just gonna lather up my face. And it looks really good. I just ate a bunch of Chinese food. And then I think I'm gonna watch a movie and take it easy. And then tomorrow morning, I'm gonna do some editing and get my video prepped for Sunday. And then I work Sunday again. And I'm doing the test on the eyes. It doesn't sting. Cause I feel like there's like a little bit of eye makeup left. I could have done another cotton pad, I guess, with the oil to finally remove it. Feels really nice and clean, not too dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the face cream and then remove it with the light controlling lotion, which is so weird, but okay. And now let's take it off with the light controlling lotion. Seems so counterintuitive, I just don't understand. And then I'm avoiding the lips and eyes. This toner really tingles. I feel like that pimple really did clear up fast. So that's interesting. But yeah, it just seems so odd. And that is it for the nighttime routine. So I just want you to leave it at that. Hello, lovely. So I got a ring light now over there. I'm hoping it helps a little bit with the lighting. Um, anyways, so... I'm going to start out with the morning routine for Marilyn Monroe and use the Feta Till pre-cleansing oil and put some on the cotton swab. I'm not wearing any makeup, so nothing is going to come off, but it's my day off and usually on my days off and I'm not doing anything, I don't really wear much makeup. I just like to like let my skin rest a little and use a lot of moisturizers. Okay, these cotton swabs are like the worst thing ever. Oh my God. Like, it doesn't work. Okay, so now I'm gonna use the Fabla Till Cleansing Bar, clean my skin and get a nice lather. And my skin feels pretty good. It's not too dry. I have like no rashes or anything or like, 
eczema or anything around my nose, so that's good. And now the next step is putting on the Felatil cream. So I'm gonna go ahead, put on the Erno Lazlo cream. My eyes, face, lips, everywhere. Just rub that all over. And this next step drives me crazy because it's using the light controlling lotion to remove the cream. I feel like I don't understand it. Maybe I never will, but it just seems so weird to me. Why would you put expensive cream on your face and take a cotton pad and remove it all? It just seems counterintuitive. And then you just avoid your eyes and lips. I do, however, like the smell of this toner. I feel like it has alcohol in it. Because it kind of smells like it. But so far, so good on my skin. It just seems so weird to me. Okay, now we're gonna do the last step, and that is the normalizer shake it. This is my favorite part of the daytime routine. I'm really coming to like this shake it. I feel like my skin looks good all day when I use it. And it kind of like mattifies it, gives it a soft focus sort of. And it's, it's hard to explain, it's kind of tinted. As you can see it go on, it like, kind of leaves like this thin layer of coverage. And you can build on it too, if you want. I just like the way it like feels on my skin and the way it makes my skin look. I would definitely buy this one again. I like it a lot. It's very unique. I've never seen a product like this. So I would recommend it. It's something different, especially if you have oily skin. And it's just good if you're like filming or on camera or taking pictures. And then when you put the powder over top, it just looks so good. I feel like it just gives me like a soft, like delicate glow all day. Hello lovely. So today is the end of day four and I think things are going pretty well. This is my first time actually using Erno Laszlo for more than one day. And I must say that I'm loving the normalizer shake. I just feel like it makes my skin look super like soft. It's almost a good way to replace a foundation. So like on days where you don't want to wear a lot of foundation and you just want to use that with concealer, I think it works really well. I'm really impressed with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the Felatil pre-cleansing oil on these horrible cotton pads that I bought at Walmart that were cheaper than the other ones. So lesson learned, don't skimp out on cotton pads because they're terrible. I'm gonna go ahead and remove all that. I'm starting to get used to this step. It kind of reminds me of using cold cream with a tissue. And today was pretty good. I've been working on a Stevie Nicks video that I'm filming next week. So I'm excited about that. I've been meaning to do this video for a while and I know a lot of you have requested it. So yeah, I've been working on that. I'm trying to think who I'm gonna do afterwards. I was thinking about Tina Turner. So I have a bunch of ideas. Let me know if you have any requests. And now I'm gonna use the Fetafil cleansing bar. I do like this cleansing bar. I feel like I would buy it again. Like the things that I would consider buying again are shake a treatment, the cleansing bar. The oil's not bad. I gotta go check the prices again because I think I do wanna buy the shake a treatment again. But I don't know, because this is a limited edition on what I have, so that would suck if they just stopped selling it. And the toner is interesting. I'm still on the fence. I gotta look at the ingredients again. The creams are pretty good, but they're very expensive. But they feel luxurious when I'm using them. It's hard to explain. They just feel higher end than like Olay or Pond's. I still want to do a video where I use seven different vintage beauty cleansing bars for a week on my face. Because so I have a whole bunch. And I did a video called Vintage Soaps. You can still buy today and I really want to try them. 
So let me know if that would interest you. It's something I've been thinking about. Ah, <sighs> okay, that's better. Eyes are a little bit burning, but pretty good. And the next step, see, I was about to put on the toner, but the next step is actually the face cream. Um, any of you guys know in the comments below why you think you put the face cream on first and then remove the toner? Please let me know, because I'm very curious and I would love to know your thoughts on this. Um, for the reasoning behind this. See, I feel like I'm still using too much of this cream. This is my problem. I always take too much and then I run out. And this is supposed to be a very expensive cream, so I shouldn't be using so much, especially if right now I'm about to remove a whole bunch of it with the toner. Unless when I'm using the toner, it's not removing all of it. I'm just trying to grasp the concept of putting on a face cream and then taking light controlling lotion and putting that on. It's like counterintuitive to me. I don't know, I, I just don't get it, it's weird. Again, I love the smell of this toner. It's just like a unique smell. I've never smelled anything like it and I told you it's a time capsule toner. I just wanna know if when Marilyn Monroe used it, if it smelled like this. That's what I wanna know. And that's what I'm curious about. I think it smells so interesting. It kind of gives you a tingling sensation. It kind of smells like alcohol to me, but I haven't gotten any rashes. I mentioned before, like my skin's been good. Since he does mention putting on a gray paste on your skin afterwards, I don't know what that is. Thinking it could be the Formula 3.9 cream, but I have this Formula 3.9 serum and I want to try it. So I've been using this. Just for some extra moisture, I just can't leave my skin with the toner and that's it and go to sleep. I feel like it's not enough. I tried it the first two days and my skin was feeling dry and I didn't like it. So I just need the extra step. So I'm going to add the Felatil again to my skin. I just got to be more mindful because I'm like using way too much. I feel like it's been like a week and I'm like, look how much I've used. I don't know why I use so much cream. Like, I feel like there's something wrong with me. It's like a sickness or something. I shouldn't be using that much. I feel like I don't need much, just a little bit. I think I'm in the mindset of like using like a cheap drugstore cream and like lathering it on. But like with this stuff, think about it. Same with this one, like just a little bit of the formula. 3-9 cream on my face, and that's all I need. I don't need to go completely overboard with this. And that is it. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. I have a 7 a.m. wake-up call. Um, work tomorrow, and then Monday I have off. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. Hello lovelies, so I accidentally made the mistake of jumping in the shower as soon as I got home from work so I didn't get to show you what my makeup looked like but when I go to the shower I went up close and looked at my skin and it's like so dry it's actually like flaking all on my forehead and like everything feels kind of like tight and dry and then I was thinking today so people are saying Marilyn Monroe had dry skin so if she has such dry skin Maybe she had dry skin because of the skincare routine. Because <laughs> I'm like, well, if she had really dry skin, then why would she want to put on all this alcohol and stuff on her face? Unless Erno Laszlo didn't really know what he was doing. But I, a few of the times I've even cheated and put on face cream after because I was like, my skin was so dry. So I'm going to try a trick today. I'm going to put the Felatil pre-cleansing oil on my hands and rub it on my face like this. And then I'm gonna use a tissue instead to remove it. I just wanna see, because I just hate that cotton pad I have. 
So I'm gonna try this method instead, see if it works any better. It does feel a bit better. I'm trying to be more gentle on my skin too, because I had a few people comment on my 1950s skincare video that I was too aggressive. I didn't really realize I was being aggressive, but I'll try to be more mindful of that. Now I'm gonna do the Thalatil cleansing bar. And, but yeah, my thoughts are that this routine made for Marilyn Monroe is like very drying on your skin, at least my skin. I think it's the, maybe one of the toners, maybe the light controlling one. There's probably a bunch of alcohol in it or something, which is drying out my skin. And then like using it to remove my face cream is probably doing that too, because I definitely feel way drier. Like my skin felt way better when I was using Olay and Pons and Nivea. Like I want to slather my face with Nivea so bad. I'm gonna be like almost happy when the skincare routine is over so I can finally use Nivea again. Anyways, we only have two days left, so it's not so bad. And then it'll be kind of a relief. I can go back to using some more moisturizing products except I'll probably want to go on to another challenge and try another Movie Stars products. Also, the size of this jar is very misleading. I thought the cream like went all the way around the corners, so it's just a tiny little hole. Like, it was a ways down, but it's not as big as you think for the price. I do like the jars, they're kind of unique. I've never seen packaging like that, and I do think it's cool. But so many movie stars use Erna Laszlo, like even Sharon Tate and Stevie Nicks. I only know Stevie Nicks uses it because I'm working on a Stevie Nicks video right now. And I was like looking at old photos and there was Erna Laszlo on her vanity. And I thought that was cool. She uses the Shake It normalizer. But there's other things too, but I don't want to tell you because that's for the video. And now I'm going to use a light controlling lotion and put it on my face. Seems so insane to me. I'll never understand this, I'll never get it. Maybe someone at Old Erno Laszlo can inform me to the reason behind this. So there's just no way I can go to bed like this and remove my cream and just be like, okay, that's it, good night. Like, I don't think so. It's just too drying, especially since my forehead's like actually peeling. Because I use like my zoom in mirror and it's like flaky. It's gross. Good morning, lovely. So I ended up putting Nivea on my face last night because it was so dry and I felt a bit better this morning, but I did get a pimple there. It seems to be gone now. Honestly, that's probably mask related. Yeah. Honestly, that's probably mask related from wearing a mask. I, I equate all pimples to masks. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna start out by using the Felatil cleansing oil on the cotton swab and go through the process. And tomorrow is the last day of the challenge. I already took a shower and kind of did a rinse. Um, I didn't wash my face in the shower, but I just like rinsed off this morning. I'm trying to be more gentle with my swabs because in my 1950s video, people are like, oh, you're too rough. Maybe I didn't even notice, but I'll try to be a bit softer. But yeah, these are like the worst cotton swabs. I know I said it before, but look at this, it doesn't even work. This bar is pretty good because I feel like you get a lot of longevity. I feel like it smells good too. And I feel like one of these bars would probably last a year. So for the price, I think it's pretty good. So I'm just gonna cleanse. Now we're moving on to the Felatil cream. It's weird, I feel like Erno Laszlo products have a unique scent that I can't really put my finger on it, but there's something kind of mysterious about it. And it, I feel like it kind of takes you back in time. I've just never smelled anything quite like it on a cosmetic. I do like it. I don't know, there's something mysterious about it. Okay, now I'm putting on the light controlling lotion. I'm trying to put my finger on it, which product is the one that's drying out my skin. I feel like maybe it's this one or is it the shake it treatment? But I kind of want to do another video where I do Marilyn Monroe's foundation per week, minus the Vaseline, and then use the normalizer shake it treatment with that to see 
what my results would be because I feel like it wasn't working with the Vaseline or I was probably putting on too much Vaseline. So I want to redo it because I am still kind of curious. So for these last two days, I have been cheating a little, mainly because my skin is just so dry and I honestly can't take it anymore. So I'm gonna put on the Ermo Lazo 3-9 Serum. It has a really pearly iridescent color, which I kind of like, and it kind of smells like vanilla. So I wanna put that on my skin, just because I feel like I just need more moisture. And then I'm gonna put on the Felatil again. I know, with her routine, they said to stop after you use a light reflecting toner, but I need the moisture. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit. Sorry, I mean the, and then I'll put the Shake It Normalizer over top. And I do like this normalizer. This is like my favorite product from the routine. Just because it definitely keeps my face matte all day long. So I just rub it all over. And it's buildable too, so depending on how much you want to use. And then you just finish the routine. Erno Lazo used to have a powder that Marilyn used, but I'm gonna use the Airspun one. So this is my favorite. And I ended up washing my poof after that video with the Vaseline because it was so gross. It worked really well. I just washed it with soap and water in the fridge. But yeah, this powder is really good. It's so affordable too. And it's like, this powder combined with the Shake It, I feel like it works so well on my skin. Like look how matte it is now and smooth. And I love the smell of it too. It just smells so vintage. I wonder if they've always had this scent. And that's that. Hello lovely. So today is the end of day six and my skin looks pretty good. It's like quite matte. Um, I did put concealer on my pimple there and that ripped off, but I feel like the powder like it looks quite matte i have no foundation on so i'm pretty impressed with the normalizer and i had my bangs down all day and look at my forehead it's like not shiny or greasy so i feel like it's been going pretty well like in terms of it staying all day not greasy very smooth i didn't wear a mask today though because i had the day off so i did i think rub my the pimple that's why the concealer wore off but yeah i feel like with this you Depending on your skin, you don't really need to wear foundation unless it's, um, you want like a lot of coverage. But if you're like trying to do like kind of that no makeup look, it could be good. So I'm gonna use the Fetatil pre-cleansing oil with the cotton pad and rub it all on my face. And I was looking at their website to kind of figure out some of the ingredients and stuff in the products. And I was like, I knew the prices were pricey, but I forgot how expensive some of them are. I think it's pre-cleansing oil. I think it's close. It's like 80 Canadian, I think. And the normalizer shakers shake it is like 80 something Canadian. Some of the creams are really expensive too. I'll tell you when I get to that point. That, and it got rid of gold makeup. And then I'm gonna do the Feta Tilt cleansing bar and clean off the rest of my makeup which isn't very much and i do like the smell of this face wash i think it smells really good and for the most part my skin does feel pretty good i feel like when i add the lotions after i use a toner i my skin is good it's just when i didn't do that and just left it it was too dry so it didn't really work for me. The verdict's still out on the toner, whether or not I like it, I'm not 100% sure. So I found a better cotton pad. And next I'm gonna put on the Felatil cream. And this one I think is 160. I'm trying not to use as much. I know I'm repeating myself, but uh, when something's that expensive, I gotta be more mindful. Cause so I feel like you probably don't need very much. So I'm gonna try to like minimize it a bit. And yeah, it smells good. I've never smelled a product like this. Now I'm gonna use the light controlling lotion. Now on the website, I noticed it's called light controlling toner. So I don't know why they changed the name. Maybe people were confused by the name lotion. I kind of like the name light controlling lotion. 
versus light controlling toner. And I do like it because it like stings. Like my pimple stings a little in a good way. And I feel like it like dries it up. And I did notice like it's exfoliating my skin quite well, but I like the tingling sensation. So it seems like got a lot off if you look at the cotton pad. So I'm gonna go back again and put on some other serums. All right, so now I'm gonna put on the Formula 3.9 serum and I was looking online and this serum's like $380. So I've been doing two pumps and now I'm realizing that's insane. It's like $20 a pump, so I'm gonna do one. So I'm gonna put on one pump instead of two. I don't know why I always do that. I always just like putting a lot of stuff. So I'm doing one pump because I feel like I went through way too much in a week. Like I shouldn't be going through that much. So I'm just gonna rub the in and then hopefully my skin will, it feels a bit better. So maybe I probably won't have to put any Nivea or anything on it tonight. I think I'm good. I feel pretty moist now. So yeah, I'll check in tomorrow, which is my last day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Hello lovelies, I just wanted to check in. Sorry, my things are weird. Um, so today is the last day and I wanted to show you kind of my makeup and how it looks on the last day. So it's like pretty mattified. I'm wearing like a lot of blush and everything right now. But as you can see, my forehead looks pretty matte and not oily. I had like a face mask on all day, so I feel like the Shake It Normalizer has been working really well. So I'm just gonna take off my makeup right now and wash my face and then I'm gonna jump in the shower and finish the routine. So I just kind of wanted to show you this before I hop in the shower and rinse off. So let me just put my bangs up and grab the cotton pad and the pre-cleansing oil. And it'll be interesting to try this with all the makeup on to really get a test. Honestly, I prefer using a cola cream like Pond's than this, especially for the price. I just feel like Pond's works better. Like this one, I might even have to use two cotton pads, like a separate one for the eye. Well, maybe not, but it does remove all the makeup quite well. And now I'm just gonna wash my face with the Felatil bar and soap and water. So I'm just gonna hop in the shower and then I'll come back and share my final thoughts on Marilyn Monroe skincare. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, I'm really happy that this is the last day. Um, for many things, I miss my Noxema to wash my face, I miss my pons, and my skin is really dry. Like right now, it feels dry. Maybe the combination with that and normalizer, it just doesn't, it just feels dry. And I don't like the pre-cleansing oil, to be honest. I think it's kind of weird and I would just prefer to use a cold cream than the pre-cleansing oil. Maybe if you didn't put on the cotton pad, it'd be a bit better, but I don't know. I just feel like for the price, I'd rather be just using a Pond's cold cream. It's like under $10. It makes my skin really soft, or it removes all my makeup. And this one is weird, like putting it on over my face cream. I just find it strange. And yeah, just my skin is dry. I don't think I would continue this. So, and I'm even using the serum, which is like $350. I mean, for these price points, I was expecting a miracle. And I didn't really get that. I do, however, like the Normalizer Shake It. If I were to buy anything in her routine, it would probably be that. Maybe if you had really oily skin, I don't know why, I didn't think I had dry skin, but just, it just felt like dry from the whole thing. I even had to put cream on after, like I'm doing now, after the toner, because it's just too much. 
so yeah thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you've tried Erna Laszlo and if you want me to do any other movie stars and try their skincare routines for a week. So I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!